welcome back guys to a new video now today I'll be returning to a page that I haven't been to for a while which is the upcoming features page for Ark Survival Evolved now if you're someone that's followed my channel for a while you may have seen one of these types of videos before I think the last one I did was like four to five months ago and since then there has been some new stuff that has been added to this page that I've never seen before which is very exciting now, if you're someone that's never seen one of these videos before or just haven't been at following the channel for a while, then you're actually going to be very shocked at some of these really awesome upcoming features that have been confirmed, but they haven't been, like, you know, completely 100% guaranteed they're going to be coming to the game. And this has all been monitored still by Wildcard. Now, as always, if you guys do enjoy today's video and are very excited for lots of new stuff come to come to Ark Survival Evolved, I'm hoping a lot of this is going to be coming with the Extinction DLC in November, but we'll find out more about that later. Smash the like button, because last time I asked for 700 likes, and you absolutely smashed that and hit 800. So if we can try and hit again 800 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for the support, and make sure to be subscribed if you never want to miss out on an ARC video, or any other videos you may be interested into. Now anyway, let's get into this video with the upcoming features page. So this is the list of known features coming uh, that are going to be coming to Ark Survival Evolved. And there used to be something on this page as well which has been removed. Which was basically, Wildcard said, um, it was like, you can edit this as much as you want and stuff and we'll be reviewing it. But I think it made the page look really, like, just in, in the way and confusing. But there's lots of new stuff that's still yet to come to the game. And we just don't know what's going on with it. So hopefully, more could be coming with the Extinction DLC. Now, bear in mind, quickly before I actually do get into this, some of the stuff that I um, uh, that have actually come out into the game with this haven't been removed off, so there could have been stuff that came out with something else in the last update, but it's still on here, but then they've added new things, so it's really strange, but we'll get into this right now. So, there's the item slot, so you've got gaslight lanterns, indoor lighting, some light tier between standing torch and lamp post, flashlight, reinforced stone box, Hitching posts and uh, post, posts and leashes maybe. Um, so this has been that this has been here for a while. I know this one has. Now tech tier. There's been a few things that are, uh, you know or, or already into the game, but there's some stuff that hasn't. So surveillance equipment, cloaking devices, and multi HUD um, visa, which is like magnifying glass for the distance, maybe with more stats info and stuff. So a lot of this stuff could have been added in, but there needs to be updates to it still and everything like that. Wall banners, flags basically hanging from walls. Tools, um, oh, the, well, like the tool thing of it, heat vision, shotgun, beanbag ammo, war horn, electrical keyboard, and xylophone. This is what I've been going on about for so long in Ark Survival Evolved. Everyone wants new instruments. We've had the war drums for so long, and I've been saying since the last time I did this video, like four to five months ago, that people want to be able to have more instruments and form some sort of Ark bands. Like, it would just be fun. And I remember exactly saying the same thing in the other video and nothing has actually been updated on it but I'm hoping more will be added into Extinction and that's what I want from this page. Now coming to the weapons section for Ark, knives, coloured smoke grenades, disease trap, trip wire doors. Now this is some more very interesting new additions to the tech tier. So plasma sabers, we've already actually got the uh, plasma sword. So I don't think anything else is going to, or the tech sword. So I think that one really is over there. A tracking bullet, which to me sounds like the guided missile from Fortnite. I don't know what this is going to be. This has been added in recently. So obviously I, I, you know, I, I still can't tell you guys if this is official, but this has been added in to the page, which would be very interesting to have some sort of tracking bullet that you can shoot off and I doubt it you know they have to be careful with this because you, you don't want this to be way too OP exactly the same thing happened with Fortnite they had the guided missile they removed it because it was too OP doing damage and make sure wild card you don't end up falling into the same trap but at the same time the drone is coming to extinction so do you really need a tracking bullet if you're going to be getting the drone now, laser tripwire is another one, EMP weapon to disable electrical devices, 
torpedoes, um, chemical weapons such as chlorine and mustard gas. Loads of different stuff that's still in the, um, obviously still in the upcoming features. As I did say at the start, some of the things that I've read out may already be in the game and that's just because ever since this page has been created, they they did one time where they removed a huge bunch of things that are already in the game, but then now they just add things in and I think it's a bit, um, you know, it's a, I don't know, it's quite frustrating because this is a page that everyone wants. It's the closest thing that we get to a road map and um, I definitely feel like they need to be working on this as much as they possibly can. Armor slash clothing. Dinosaur armor is a very interesting one because we still haven't heard anything about this and this has been on the upcoming features page for so so long and I want to find out if there's going to be an addition to this. I don't think there will and the reason behind this is because the all the loads of dinos are getting like tech updates in the moment. We've had the tech rex, we've had the tech stego. What's going to be tech next? Do you think they need armors if they're already tech? I don't know but you know they're still there so there's still possibility. Dino mounted cannons for primitive, more dino mounted plasma weapons for tech tier, and the ability to add armor to the training dummy. Now, as you guys know, a lot of things have been added in already, but there's still possibilities with a few things, but I definitely feel like I'm going to carry on going with my dinosaur armor. Things saying I just don't think it's going to be added in. So structures, um, half walls, this has been talked about for so, so long. I think I've seen this for way over a year, like probably a year and a half. Um, colorization paths on older structures, flipping sloped walls upside down, wall mounted coal, um, well, fish for base decoration basically. And, you know, the famous one that never ever came to the game, dynamic length bridges. Now, I'm probably saying this now, and it did get added in, and I'm being an idiot, but I know from, well, from what I know, I don't think it ever did, because I've never seen it, even from playing it now, and I, I kind of know for a fact it's never been added in, but first announced in version 245, and then deferred. I remember over a year ago covering the patch notes and it would be like, yes, dynamic length bridges are coming to the game. No need to make any more custom ones. And and yeah, that just kept getting pushed back, pushed back. And then all of a sudden it just disappeared and never was like, you know, never was talk talked about anymore. Now, I don't think it's in the game. I've never seen it and I've played Ark for so long now. And it's not like it's just something I've missed and not unlocked in the engrams because, you know, I would have seen it by now. And I know for a fact this hasn't been added in because I still still think people make jokes about it, but that is something I would love to see to the, come to the game, but I think they've just given up with it because it was probably too much too, too much work. Consumables, bread and jam, laxative and coffee. Laxatives has been the one that everyone's talking about for ages to come to the game where you can like give someone some laxatives on Ark and then they can't stop pooping. That would be the interesting thing, and again, these three things have been talked about for so long, but yet not added into the game. Moving on to environment, more underwater harvestables, more seeds, and making seeds only appear in certain biomes. Um, so, for the map, additional uh, caverns and biome development for the center, and a sunken obelisk with an underwater boss. This has been in arc for so long again. I've, I think I'm getting like so hyped over everything because it's crazy how so much of this stuff has been in the upcoming features page for so long and nothing's been changed to it. Um, and there was rumours that the next boss um, for the before the Overseer and stuff and everything like that, there was going to be a sunken obelisk with an underwater boss and uh, that was going to be one of the bosses to Ark Survival Evolved. Can't really see that being a thing anymore, if I'm honest with you guys. Like, we've got Extinction coming our way, and we haven't seen anything on that. Maybe that could be something for Extinction. A lot of this stuff is maybe towards that, but to me, I think that's probably going to be another one, which has sadly been ruled out. Now, weather, hail, um, hail, thunderstorms, and other weather cycles, again, been talked about for a while. Unfortunately, still haven't seen anything on it. And, mate, and a rough sea. I've wanted the rough sea for so long, and again, nothing's really been a, a change to that. Huge waves, you know, tsunamis, different things like that would make the game crazy. Like, like the literally, there's, there's the potential shining in Ark Survival Evolves face hair. I can't even speak. Face here, and like I'm get, I get so passionate when I'm talking about these things, and then I can barely even speak. Um, but yeah, that's something I've wanted for so long. Um, mechanized transportation system now. If I'm, I may be wrong here, 
but this is actually going to be definitely added into extinction by the cryo chamber by being able to shrink the dinos into like ice cube forms and transporting them around to be able to sell to other people that is what i'm thinking this transportation system is that has been talked about again for a while and now they've finally announced it within extinction which is my opinion potential airship slash airship bases again we kind of saw airship bases within the ascension and stuff in the final bosses but again um i don't know how many times you guys are going to hear me say again um again 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 i need to stop saying it all right i'm sorry i'm sorry uh potential airships and airship bases not really heard much about that apart from its ascension as i said um but we'll see what happens within Extinction as we do go on to Earth. Naming items, carrying weapon and torch together, tribe leveling, alliance chat, you know loads of stuff's already in the game. Localized injuries and, and bleeding and bandages, hold breath while in scope function, ability to stop babies from growing with tech tier, craft from remote inv inventories, i.e. using re um, resources of storage box directly instead of transfer them first. Auto flight slash run key, and that would be something that um, on the console would be obviously wouldn't be a key. Hide learned engrams option, um, more creature tracking options, use of maps as GPS while uh, mounted on water creatures. As I said, a lot of stuff has been, uh, been added in. Um, carnivores more active at dusk and dawn. Um, affixed the per uh, t t Tyrannodons and Spazzy Nature. I think this has been sorted out already. I don't really know, but I think if I've seen updates to it before, I think it is better. The, uh, the uh, giant turtle will have the ability to retract into their shells. Still not added in. I know that one. Possible sibling boost. Alarm trap can um, cycle aggression on nearby dinos. Vertical water leaps on some creatures. Possible dino, uh, well, possible breeding stat. Dino support for arbitrary gear. On the scope, uh, well, scope, roaring feature for all dinosaurs, skewing attack for trike, we've already got that added in, obviously, with the TLC pass, sound pass, appearance, footprints, different sounds for walking on different surfaces, we've already had that added in, um, and then alpha herbivores, nothing they've ever done about that, more cold climate creatures revealed, um, uh, again, the sort of things that don't really make a difference, and then primal survival, we haven't heard nothing on that, and the disc available is already added into the game, well, when I say added in, there's already a disc version for Ark Survival Evolved. So, really, that is everything, guys, that's in the upcoming feature page now. It's interesting to see lots of new stuff. You know, the tracking bullet is, uh, you know, something I don't know what they're going to, if they're going to take anything with that, because obviously they've got the drone confirmed within the Extinction DLC. So I'd love to see what they end up doing with all this stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see to the game, what you'd hope would be coming to Extinction, some of the things you just don't think will be coming. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Drop a like and if you did enjoy. And, you know, I always do this upcoming features page because, you know, every... I used to do it every month. That's how new content would be with Ark Survival Evolved. But because there was absolutely nothing and added to this apart from recently, this is like my first video on it for a while. So if anything new does get added, I'd do another video on it. But if not, this could potentially be the last one you see on the upcoming features page. But we'll see. It's been a very long journey. One and a half years, maybe up to two of being on this page and showing you information. It's emotional. But anyway, let's try and smash 800 likes as I said. Subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll catch you guys in my next Ark Survival Evolved video. See you guys later.